and then we can load in a DXF file. Um, and I don't have many DXF files, so you've got up here to select the file. Again, same way, uh, it's on my computer. Hopefully I can find it, because I can't remember where I put it. Oh no, I know where it is. Hang on a minute, bear with me, downloads. I only got it this afternoon, because I don't store SDF, DXF files. And open it. And pick the plane I'm going to put it on. And hopefully it will go in. And there it is. Completely upside down. And it takes it takes all the points with it. If you want to get rid of those points, then basically, uh, as we've said earlier, go into the sketch of it. And down here you can get rid of the points. Now again, um, it's... This particular sample, I might, I might add, is because I just grabbed a DXF file off the internet this afternoon. If you were to have, have you know, you, you can extend out bits. But of course, you can't extend out bits which are not complete patterns, as we've already seen with other sketches we've done. But that's how to get DXF files in.